Drain your Wi-Fi network is one factor that could determine how pleasant your browsing experience is. When your router is not reaching every part of your vicinity or has a weak signal in certain blind spots, then a Wi-Fi repeater might be what you need. Now if your Wi-Fi happens to be Starlink or any other Wi-Fi service provider for that matter, you've come to the right place because in this video I'll show you how to boost Starlink signal spread with Pixlink Wi-Fi repeater. Hey guys, Juice is Hart here. If you are new to the channel or haven't yet subscribed, we make lots of videos like this. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any. The packaging of this Wi-Fi router is simple. All you get inside the box are the router, an RJ45 cable and a quick installation guide. According to the specs, this is a 2.4 or 5 GHz Wi-Fi repeater. With speeds of up to 300 MB per second, it can cover a range of up to 50 meters and it's compatible with various devices including non-wireless devices via an Ethernet cable. It has several indicators that serve their own unique functions. Now with regard to the perfect placement of the Wi-Fi repeater. The Wi-Fi repeater shouldn't be placed too close to the Wi-Fi source. It also shouldn't be placed too close to the blind spot. Directly in between the Wi-Fi source and the blind spot is the perfect position to place the Wi-Fi repeater. The Pixlink Mini Router can be used as a router to create instant private network, as a repeater to extend Wi-Fi coverage and improve Wi-Fi signal, as a client to distribute Wi-Fi to wired devices, as an access point from a non-wireless service provider to Wi-Fi enabled devices, or as a WISP client to distribute access point from an outdoor wireless internet service provider. However, in this video, we will use it as a repeater for our Starlink Wi-Fi. Setting up the Wi-Fi repeater can be very easy if you know how to. Firstly, plug the Wi-Fi repeater into a socket. It will establish a Wi-Fi network with no internet access or password. Connect to it and head over to your browser. Type in the address in the installation guide. Select your preferred language and log into the setup dashboard using admin as the password. Select the function you want to use the router for, which for me is repeater. It will scan for available Wi-Fi networks. Once it's done, select the Wi-Fi you want to repeat, enter the password and click connect to proceed. It will take a few minutes to configure the router for the selected Wi-Fi. Once the Wi-Fi extension is established, a pop-up will display the Wi-Fi name and password, but we are not done yet. We have to change a few things in the settings dashboard, so copy the provided link and note down the Wi-Fi name and password. We connect to the Wi-Fi extension which is now Starlink EXT in my case, using the provided Wi-Fi password. Head over to the settings dashboard in your web browser using the link you copied earlier and enter admin as the password to login. You will notice that the settings dashboard has a different look, showing information about the router and Wi-Fi. Click on advanced to access more settings. There are 5 tabs in the advanced menu. The first one, the home menu, will show you the network status and information. If you decide that you want to use the repeater for a different Wi-Fi, you can head over to the system mode to switch from one Wi-Fi connection to another. In the wireless menu, you can enable or disable the Wi-Fi, change or hide the Wi-Fi name or change the password. In the wireless access control rule sub-menu, you can control device access to your Wi-Fi. Any device denied access will be blacklisted. You can monitor all online or connected devices in the device connection menu. You can also see a list of restricted devices. At the administration menu, you can change the default password of the Pixlink settings dashboard, and you probably should. Otherwise, practically anyone can access and alter your repeater settings. In the NTP settings, you can set up your time zone. In my case, that's GMT plus 1, West African time. In the system management tab, you can rebuild the router or reset it to factory settings. You can also download the configuration file, restore and reuse it on another router. You can also download the system log or upgrade the Pixlink firmware when necessary. Endeavor to log out of the setup dashboard when you are done. Now if for any reason, you no longer have access to the settings dashboard, 
You can manually reset your router by pressing the pinhole reset button for 5 seconds. The Pixlink Mini Router does a great job at Wi-Fi signal boosting and range extension. It is a minimalistic solution and costs only $12. What are your thoughts? Feel free to let us know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And if you haven't already done that, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.